Propaganda has been used throughout history as a powerful tool to manipulate and control the thoughts and actions of individuals. It has been used by governments, organizations, and individuals to spread biased or misleading information in order to achieve their own agenda. Throughout the course of history, propaganda has been used to subconsciously indoctrinate, humiliate, dehumanize, and desensitize various groups of people, particularly marginalized groups. One of the most significant forms of propaganda in American history is the one that targeted African Americans, specifically the descendants of slavery. The United States has a long and dark history of using propaganda to justify discrimination, genocide, and extermination of this marginalized group. This propaganda has been deeply ingrained in society and continues to have a lasting impact today. The rise of the transatlantic slave trade in the 16th century led to the systematic oppression and exploitation of African Americans. In order to justify this horrific practice, Europeans developed a racist ideology that portrayed Africans as inferior and subhuman. This ideology was then spread through various forms of propaganda, including literature, speeches, and even scientific studies. One such example is the pseudoscientific disease called drapetomania, which was created by a white American physician named Samuel Cartwright in the 19th century. This so-called disease was described as the urge for enslaved Africans to escape their bondage. Cartwright claimed that this condition was caused by a mental disorder and could be cured through whipping the devil out of them. This false and dehumanizing theory was used to justify the brutal treatment of slaves and perpetuate the idea that they were not capable of being free or equal to their white counterparts. Propaganda was also used in the form of derogatory caricatures and stereotypes that portrayed African Americans as lazy, unintelligent, and subordinate. These images were spread through newspapers, textbooks, and other forms of media, further reinforcing the idea of white superiority and justifying the mistreatment of African Americans. The effects of this propaganda are still evident in the United States today. The legacy of slavery and systemic racism perpetuated by propaganda has led to a society where African Americans continue to face discrimination and inequality. The subconscious indoctrination of these harmful beliefs has created a cycle of oppression that is difficult to break. But the impact of propaganda is not limited to just the United States. It has been used throughout history in various parts of the world to justify discrimination, genocide, and extermination of marginalized groups. One such example is the ongoing conflict between Palestine and Israel. The state of Israel has long been accused of using propaganda to justify the genocide of Palestinians. This has been evident through its actions, such as portraying all Palestinians as terrorists and using military force to suppress any form of resistance. The Israeli government has also employed various media outlets to spread false narratives, demonizing Palestinians and justifying the use of excessive force against them. This propaganda has been used to dehumanize the Palestinian people and create a narrative that portrays Israel as the victim in the conflict. The Israeli government has also used historical and religious arguments to justify its actions, claiming that the land rightfully belongs to them and that they are defending themselves against terrorists. However, these arguments have been widely criticized and debunked by human rights organizations and international bodies. The use of propaganda to justify the genocide of Palestinians is a disturbing tactic that not only perpetuates violence, but also erodes the truth and perpetuates a one-sided narrative in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine. Similarly, throughout history, European imperial powers have used propaganda to justify their colonization and exploitation of Asian and African countries. This propaganda perpetuated the idea of European superiority and portrayed indigenous peoples as savages who needed to be civilized. This mindset justified the forced cultural assimilation, exploitation of resources, and enslavement of indigenous peoples. Even within African countries, tribal rivalries have been fueled by propaganda. Colonial powers use divide-and-conquer tactics by pitting different ethnic groups against each other, creating deep-seated animosity that still exists today. This has led to countless conflicts and wars within African nations, causing immense harm and suffering to innocent civilians. 
The Quran warned us about this in Surah 49, Ayat 13, O mankind. We have created you from a male and a female, and made you into nations and tribes so that you may know one another. Verily, the noblest of you with Allah is the most righteous. Verily, Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. This verse reminds us that diversity among nations and tribes is a natural part of humanity, and it should not be used to promote division and hatred. In conclusion, the use of propaganda throughout history has had a devastating impact on marginalized groups, perpetuating discrimination, oppression, and violence. It is crucial for us to recognize and reject this harmful tool in order to create a more just and equal global society for all. As individuals, we must educate ourselves and others about the dark history of propaganda and its effects and work towards dismantling its harmful ideologies. Only then can we truly move towards a world where all individuals are treated with dignity and respect, regardless of their race, ethnicity, or background. K.I.K. Knowledge is King Get into the know. Peace to the conscious minds, the righteous hearts, and those who want to see.